Have you ever had that feeling? A feeling that gnaws at you. A feeling that you can't describe, but it just eats away at you. You want to tell someone, but you can't. There's fear in there. And then finally you tell someone, and it's like relief has lifted off of your shoulders. That, my friends, is what coming out as transgender feels like. Hi everybody, it's Nikki Chanel here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be discussing how to come out as transgender and some of the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. Now, coming out as transgender is, for many of us, like the first step of transition. And it's always like a big fear that a lot of us have that we're gonna be rejected as soon as we tell people. But I've kind of learned that that is not really the case anymore, especially in the nowadays with transgender being so prevalent in the media. And so let's get started. But remember to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for more. And we have applied to YouTube monetization. So pretty soon this channel will actually be making money. So I can't believe this is actually happening. And so your continued support is amazing and I never thought I would actually get to this point. Now, as always, thank you for watching my video and roll the intro. So what is coming out? Now, coming out is basically the process of telling people that you are transgender and it's getting out of your shell, like the egg crack, and that's where you start this process. And for many of us, it is the beginning of this. It is the start of a very long road that will basically be on the rest of my life. And I know from personal experience that the fear of telling someone I was transgender was actually worse than living as transgender. Like most people don't really end up caring that you're transgender. And a lot of the times they can tell you are just from like your actions and your mannerisms. Like a lot of my former like high school associates that I went to, like high school students I went to high school with, they're like, okay, that makes sense. You were always very feminine. You were always very girly. That makes total sense why you're transgender now. And it's the fear of telling someone is worse because you just get psyched up in your brain and you think everyone's just going to reject you outright from just saying that you're transgender. But the reasons that we tell people we're transgender is to start gaining acceptance within ourselves. That was one of my things. I wanted to have a dialogue about this with other people and I wanted to start growing as a transgender woman, but it starts by telling someone that you're transgender. Okay, now let's talk about my coming out experience. I had two of them. Now, as from many of you have seen from my other videos, my parents and I have had a very long road with this process and they're now gaining acceptance of it, but it's one of those things of like out of sight, out of mind. But with me, I came out as a gay male first and then a transgender woman second. So coming out as gay, I was about 17 when I started this and I was just into men. I, I viewed women as beautiful and like amazing, but I didn't want to, you know, have a relationship with a woman because I just, it wouldn't have felt right. It wouldn't have felt right as I've talked about in my dating video. And I told them I was gay and they were okay with that because they had a baseline to go off of because my cousin was gay. He was a very successful gay man and he still is. He lives in San Francisco, he has a husband. So they are a good re gay relationship. Now, coming out as transgender was a totally different story. Like my parents caught me cross-dressing a lot of times as I've talked about in this video right here. They caught me coming all the time and the problem was, is they are of the boomer generation. They're baby boomers. Like they, my mom was born in 56, my dad was born in 53. To them, it's male, female world. And so I told them I wanted to be a girl, I think at like 20. One day I just told my mom that when we were coming back from the grocery store and she's like, okay, well, maybe. She's like, wait till you move out first. I'm like, okay. Then, you know, the whole gender dysphoria just nod at me forever and ever and ever. And then finally at 24, my anniversary was actually two days ago, on March 18th, 2020, I started transitioning, I started growing out my hair, started doing the whole process. And the problem was, is that I actually didn't tell them I was doing any of this stuff. Like they asked me, why are you growing out your hair? I'm like, well, I just want long hair. They're like, why are all these medical bills coming? Like, why, what are you doing? Like, why are you getting blood work done? Things like that. 
And I just kind of kept brushing it off, brushing it off, brushing it off. And I managed to, for the most part, in secret, hide it from them for about a year and a half until finally, and I'll always remember this day, it was like July 20th of 2022, my mom came up to me at the grocery store where I work and she was just there shopping. She's like, hey, your dad wants to know why you have boobs. I'm like, okay, so I told her, I told her everything. And after I told her everything, she had a lot of questions obviously, but it got better. Like there was this big fear, like I felt like I should have been telling my parents throughout the entire process, but I knew they were never going to allow it. And like to what level they were not going to allow it, I didn't know, were they gonna kick me out? Like I didn't really know kind of what was going on. And I had this fear and I psyched myself up so much that I could never tell them until finally the changes from HRT became so noticeable that they said, they told themselves basically. And thus, ever since then, I've actually had a better relationship with my parents because they acknowledged it. They thought it was a phase. They thought it was a complete phase until the time came to kind of plan my breast augmentation. And they were like, okay, this is definitely not a phase. My son wants to be a woman. Yep. And so ever since then, it's actually been pretty good. I'm gonna go see Dune 2 with my dad later today. Now for this section, I wanna talk about some tips and tricks that I used when coming out as transgender. Now, first off, there's never a good time to tell someone you're transgender. It's going to be a very long conversation. And if you're rating for the right opportune moment, that time has come and passed already. And there's really no good time to do it. And with me, I actually started telling people that I was comfortable with and friends. That's what I started with, specifically women. I always was more attracted to women in the way of like friendships. And so I just made more friendships with women because you know we had common interests in hair, makeup, skin, outfits, all that. And I started telling them. And so the first girls I ever told were the girls in my first job. And so women, I can tell I'm transgender a lot more with than men. While younger men are generally really accepting, I think younger men are super accepting, the problem that I face is telling older men, specifically the boomer generation, where in their world, LGBT was sort of like this fringe thing that existed on like the ends of society, not front and center, because generally millennial and younger, like I'm a millennial, I'm 95. LGBT is kind of front and center. You know, RuPaul's Drag Race is a very popular TV show. You have uh, lots of transgender women on TV shows, on the news, you have Orange is the New Black, those ones that were in there. You have Dylan Mulvaney, unfortunately Dylan Mulvaney, but it gets transgenderism out into the limelight. And what I've learned is that because of this, younger people are just generally more accepting. And I think it's just a thing of like, you haven't had time to develop your biases yet. And so those are who I tell. I tell people my age, like my age group is like, 24 to like 33, I tell people within that range and I have a lot of acceptance from those people in that world. And I mostly tell women, you know, sometimes I tell men, but it's also not a front and center thing. I let it just kind of naturally happen because when I go to work, even without a ton of makeup on and my hair in a ponytail, my body looks very feminine. I act very feminine. I act very girly. Someone could look at me with any little bit of knowledge of transgenderism and be like, oh, that's a, that's a trans woman. Like it's pretty obvious by this point. And then especially when I come in all done up, like tomorrow I'm gonna go to the grocery store on my day off and go buy some stuff. Uh, short shorts and sports bras showing off my abs, cause why not? Like those are the times they're like, okay, yeah, you're, you're definitely transgender. Like that, you don't even need to come out to us. But what I've learned is that it's one of those things that you just have to be friendly and open with people. It's not a, oh, I'm transgender, call me this certain way and go from there. No, it's, hey, just letting you know I'm transgender, let's move on with our lives. That's how I view it. It's not my personality, it's not the end all be all of my existence. It is simply put a thing about my life, but it's not the most important thing about my life. My biggest worry is growing on YouTube. My biggest worry is paying off my bills. Telling people I'm transgender, I don't really care about that nowadays because it's like, once you tell one person, you've told five, and then you tell 10, and then you tell 20, and then it just kind of becomes the same story over and over and over again. And as long as you're friendly with people, as long as you can accept some criticisms from people, especially older generation, I've gotten a lot of criticisms from older generations, and you'll just do it. Like, 
You tell one, you'll tell five. And eventually you'll just become a pro at telling it. And then this stage of your life is done. Now, coming out is probably gonna be one of the first steps that you take on your transgender road. However, it's not going to be something that's going to become really prevalent after you kind of do it. It's sort of like, hey, I'm this, let's start this process. And coming out to people is really just the process of being true to yourself. It's about acknowledging what you are and it's about acknowledging that there may be some difficulties in the road ahead, but I want the support of others. And I think that's one of the main reasons we do it is to garner support, is to let people know that yeah, I am transgender, but I'm also still a person at heart. And that's kind of the thing that I think gets lost sometimes is we're still just people at heart. We have our faults, we have our positives, we have our negatives. And once you start telling people, it's going to get a lot easier. Start with your friend groups, then go on to the hard ones. Like my parents were so hard to tell too. Oh my gosh. Like even now I still just have like fears about telling them anything like transgender related because I just always have that fear because, you know, they're my parents and they look to you to like continue their legacy. And it's like, you know, the legacy that they left me is great, but I'm going to build my own future and I love them, but I am my own person. And that's kind of how you view coming out. You do it to find acceptance with the people you love. Now, as always, thank you for liking that video. I am going to be trying some new editing techniques in this video to kind of clean up the volume a little bit and to clean up the sound and kind of make the music a little bit more smoother. And we have five days off and we're gonna make a lot of videos this weekend, so I'm super excited. It's a beautiful sunny day and I hope you all have a wonderful day. This has been Nikki Chanel. Love you all.